Hey guys, welcome to another beer vlog for you here. I just thought I'd do another little beer vlog. Just been doing some in the car, some walking around. But I thought I'd just do one, just sitting down in one usual beer corner. Well, I'll change it around a little bit. Got a nice, just white wall behind me now. So just a few changes there. I'm just tucking into a Thornbridge Joy Pure. Very, very nice. I mean, it's a, it's a classic craft beer standard, really. And I'm really liking their 10 year anniversary sort of gilded labelling there, that's very cool. Selling in, them in Waitrose now, which I didn't actually know before. Don't know if I've just never sort of spotted them there, but so got this from Waitrose, they're very good. Waitrose are doing quite a lot. I'd say they're the, other than, uh, I'd say they're in Marks and Spencer, the best places to get craft beer on the high street, in, in the supermarket sort of thing. <sighs> so what we've got to talk about? Well, the big news in the craft beer world this week was really the takeover of Meantime by SAB Miller, Saab Miller, however you like to say it. I, I, like to, I like to change it up sometimes, say SAB, sometimes I say Saab, it's up to me. Everyone's got their own opinions on it. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I personally, I'm going to sort of leave it down to the beer. if, Because that's my biggest worry, is if the beer is sort of altered if they cut back on their core range, if they stop the inventiveness, if they stop them trying new stuff, that's when it will be a bad thing. But if the beer stays the same and it's still good quality, then it's brilliant. I mean, a brewery at the end of the day, it's a business and you want it to succeed. And I mean, you can have, I mean, people like uh, Brewdog doing it a different way where they get in there, sort of the community to back them and they've got their whole sort of the equity for punks thing going on. So that's one way to do it. And meantime, taken a sort of a different route. Uh, does it mean that they can grow? Probably. I, I, I'm just going to wait until sort of like about six months down the line and see when the takeover is done and they start actually producing beer after the takeover and actually see what that's like. Because that's the end of the day. If the beer's still good, because I mean, they didn't sound well, they took over Pills and Aquil, didn't they? And that didn't change much at all. For uh, quite a mass produced beer as Pills and Aquil, it's still regarded as a very good beer. So, what else? What else have been up to in the beer world? Just been buying a hell of a lot of beers. Whenever I see them, just got a really, really good bottle shop, literally like two seconds from my house, like so close to the unreal. So, and I filmed a, one of the videos, one of my beer reviews actually at that place the other day of, of Skull, Beaver Town Skull King. So I've been getting loads, finished. <laughs> But yeah, I've been, it's mistakenly coming up and I got a load of Brewdog stuff, I made a video about that before. But I also wanted just to chuck in a few different things. So I've got, um, gone for like a broad sweep of like different IPAs. So I've got like Westbrook IPA, Flying Dogs, uh, it's a Snake Dog IPA. Uh, well, mm, mm, mm. Went for an April Rye, Beef Town April Rye. And one other cunt that I can't remember. One other one. What was it? They're over there, but that means I have to get up. Come on, it was only, only fucking brought them yesterday. Come on, think. Anyway, I brought some other ones. So, and uh, my dad got a massive case of Beaver Town beer as well. So that's all going to be good. So looking forward to that. So going to be prepared for a load of videos of shenanigans and beer related stuff as well. If you want to tell me your thoughts on the whole SAB Miller meantime takeover thing. Uh, then, then I'd love to know your thoughts on it because it is something that's sort of dividing opinion and it's something that people are worried about and it's something that some people are actually saying it's a good thing but I'm gonna, I'm one of the people that I'm going to sit on the fence a little bit or just look over the fence at what they're doing and sort of and sort of see how the beer is. Leave it, let, let the beer speak for itself. So I'm going to finish my beer because it's speaking and saying, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> 